So this will be asking the question, will those oligarchs have to rebuild Ukraine? That's what the video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, it seems perfectly reasonable to me. Uh, you've held their money up. They can't have access to it. As a matter of fact, it seems to me those oligarchs should say, you know what? We're going to help rebuild Ukraine. So, but let's take a look at what the cards have to say. And this is a question from viewer Linda Joe. Thank you so much, Linda Joe. Okay. So this is going to be uh, Vladimir Putin's uh, Russian oligarchs. Will they recompense and rebuild Ukraine? Um, let's see how that goes. Give these cards a good shuffle. So yeah, it seems to me that uh, these fellas, if they, uh, I don't know, what they should do now since their money's frozen is just go ahead and pledge. You know, we're going to help rebuild Ukraine. You know, help us out here. So this is a question from Linda Joe. By the way, thank you, uh, Linda Joe. And uh, so Vladimir Putin's Russian oligarchs will they recompense and rebuild Ukraine? So let's see how that goes. But first, of course, let's have a moment. Of meditation. Okay. Yep, Russian oligarchs. You know, oligarchs isn't really a bad uh, term. It just refers to, you know, someone uh, with a lot of means. But um, will they recompense and rebuild Ukraine? Will the oligarchs recompense and rebuild Ukraine? Will the oligarchs recompense and rebuild Ukraine? We'll start with six cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will the oligarchs recompense and rebuild Ukraine? Good question. They should. The signifier card for this is the Ace of Pentacles. Well, that's a good start because Ace is money. A Pentacles are a money value, and the Ace is a great big offer. So this is a very good um, indicator here. So the signifier card for this reading, will the oligarchs uh, rebuild uh, Ukraine? Ace of Pentacles. Love that. Now, what's the challenge? The challenge to that is strength. Interesting. So this is Major Arcana. This is number 11 in the Major Arcana, so it's halfway through the uh, journey uh, of the Fool. And um, so the challenge to uh, those oligarchs uh, rebuilding, recompensing Ukraine is the strength. Is that the strength of the oligarchs to resist, perhaps? Let's see. The base of this reading, then, as to whether the oligarchs will rebuild Ukraine is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight is the fighter of the royal suite. Pentacles are value, again. And so this Knight is going to fight for that value. Very good, as a matter of fact. The past to this reading is this Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups uh, typically uh, represents um, like the greedy uh, merchant, uh, the uh, wishes fulfilled, some say. It's someone who's uh, willing to display all their trophies that they've uh, garnered over the um, over their history um, and um, is, is proud about that. So the past of this is this Nine of Cups, the greedy merchant. So that could, if that does kind of sound like an oligarch, really uh, gloating over all the ill-gotten gains or all the gains that he has, all the trophies that he has. And that's what's been in the past for these oligarchs. In the sky of this reading, as to whether the oligarchs will rebuild Ukraine, is the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the Knight of Swords, this is an excellent card too, especially in the sky. The Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, and the Knight is a fighter for that. Okay, and then the uh, uh, likely outcome for the first part of this then is the fool a new journey. This sounds like a big yes to me. So yeah, the fool is starting off on a new journey. Something new is getting ready to happen. Let's do four more cards just for the heck of it because this is very clear already. I could stop right now, but uh, it's so uh, juicy. Let's see if we don't get some more uh, uh, for that. So will the oligarchs uh, recompense and rebuild Ukraine? 
Some of them are Ukrainian, as a matter of fact. So this very self of that question is this three of wands. Wands are plans, actions, forward movement, and the three of wands is long-term plans. And you can even see this this uh, person in this uh, in this uh, picture here looking off into the future. So long-term plans, very good, as a matter of fact. Let's move all this over just a bit. The uh, self of that question as to whether the oligarchs will, will rebuild is uh, the hangman looking at a thing from a different perspective. You know, if they're money makers, of course, their investment in Ukraine just sets up a whole other generation of, of uh, potential wealth. So that's the hangman looking at a thing from another perspective. The uh, hopes and the fears for this, then, uh, with this Hierophant. Wow, these are very good cards, really on point for what we're asking. And the Hierophant is the government. It's the rules by which a thing is governed. It could be religion, uh, but it's structure. And uh, it's very clear this is government. The likely outcome of the whole thing, will the uh, oligarchs uh, recompense and rebuild Ukraine? It's going to be right here. This is the Queen of Chalices. So the Queen of Cups. Chalices are cups. Cups are emotion, uh, emotion compassion, uh, heartfelt. And the Queen of Cups is just bringing this offer of, of a heartfelt situation. I think that's exactly what's going to happen, if not in total, in some uh, part. So very good question. So we'll we'll read it again. Will the oligarchs uh, recompense and rebuild? It starts out with a great big offer, an ace of pentacles big offer of money. It's challenged by what? It's challenged by strength, the strength of those oligarchs. It's uh, the base of this reading is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight is going to fight for the value to get this thing done. The past of this reading is the greedy merchant, oligarchs. The uh, sky of this reading is the Knight of Swords going to fight for truth, justice, rules, and law. And the likely outcome of the first part of that is a new journey for the fool. And then we say over here, the very self of that question, will the oligarchs uh, recompense and rebuild? And we get the Three of Wands, long-term plans. And then the um, hangman is the environment that that's in, looking at a thing from another perspective. Also, the fact that we're in a suspense right now to see how does this even uh, whole work out. Um, the uh, hopes and the fears of this is the Hierophant, the government, and then the likely outcome of the whole thing with this Queen of Cups. Queen is coming forth and saying, here's the compassion that we need to get this thing going. Love this reading. That was very good. The cards never lie. I mean, it, maybe my interpretation isn't quite uh, what you thought it should be, but uh, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So these are great. These are the Harmonious Tarot. It's another Los Scarabio. And um, again, the um, the box is just, you know, it's a better than normal box. The instruction booklet are interesting. They're in a few different languages. Um, gives you an idea of how to go about the divination. And the cards are really uh, amazing. And so this gives you a good look at that. I actually bought these cards on vacation overseas in a chapel that was on the site of a big castle. So there you go. So that kind of gets them mixed up and we can start to figure out uh, what this is all going to be about here. I really don't like them reverse, so I try not to let that happen. And um, this gives you a chance to see them. Gives, uh, if you're doing a reading for someone, gives them a chance to interact with the cards. And all that is good stuff. Get all the energy in here that we can find. Let's get this going. Yep. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.